In this session, we will download Microvision Keel and install it. So let's get started. You can search this Keel Micro Microvision Keel Embedded Development Tool from this link. So go to the downloads, and uh, you can see there is products uh, download for the ARM Keel. So there are some for other devices since we are interested in Cortex and ARM devices so we need to download this MDK ARM just click on it and uh, now you can download uh, this executable file just uh, right click on it and uh, the file will be start downloading. Once the file is downloaded, you can right click and run as administrator. You will see Keel Microvision icon on desktop and it will also start the pack installer that we will talk about later. Now Keel Microvision 5 has been successfully installed and you can see it's a uh, uh, shortcut on the desktop. Just double click on it and uh, Keel Microvision 5 will start. Let me move. This is the interface of Keel Microvision. You can check its version by clicking Help menu and uh, selecting About Microvision. So you can see uh, we have successfully installed Microvision version 5.34. Thank you. Now we will add Sport for TVC Launchpad in Microvision Keel. So for that you need to click on Pack Installer and So this shows all the devices and their sports added to Keel Microvision at your computer. So you can see uh, we can add all these devices and uh, on the right side this shows uh, which device and uh, uh, which packs are installed on your PC. We will start searching the device in the left side since we are using Tiva Launchpad from Texas Instrument so let's start from the Texas instruments and you can see there are a bunch of different options TVC series and we are using TVC series TM4C123 series so there are a couple of options we are using this device from the Texas instrument. You can also search this device in the search box by typing its device name TM4 
C123 GH 6 PM so so for this particular device you can see there is a package available in the keel in order to install it you have to make sure the status is online you are connected to internet and just click on this install and you can see on the progress bar this packet is being installed So the required package is uh, successfully installed and you can see like a uh, message is showing uh, the package is up to date. So we have successfully installed its package in the keel and you can also see that gray color has uh, changed to the green one. Similarly you can see uh, install some other package, packages if you want to install it. Now we will see how to download and install Tivaware for C-Series which is a software development kit by Texas Instrument that is required to evaluate and develop applications for Texas Instruments TM4C which is a ARM Cortex M4 device family. So let's get started. First of all we need to search for Tivaware for C series. So you can find this link. So basic information on this Tivaware for C series you can find here in the overview and its different features. In order to download, you can find its link here. Just click on it and uh, you can find uh, different version let's download the full version so its full version is 2.2.295 just click on it so if you are new user you can fill it out After successfully completing all those fields, now you can download that Tivaware. So download has started. That's where it's the file to be downloaded. Once the file is downloaded, it will appear in your download folder. You can right click on it and uh, run as administrator. So click next. Next. Agree the license agreement. Next. Uh, you can change uh, address of your Tivaware, but it is very helpful. To install it on its default location so click next install so it will take a couple of seconds to complete the installation hit finish so uh, Tivaware has been installed on your computer so we can check the file location by into C and there is a folder named TI Texas instrument so double click on it and you can see the Tivaware C series version 2.2.0.295 is downloaded and installed and uh, you can open this folder and you can see different folders available in this uh, uh, installation 
one important folder is of examples because TivaWare provides source code for different devices and peripherals. You can see like in different peripherals, ADC, can open, and timers. And also it provides some examples related to specific boards by Texas Instrument. Like you can see, since I am using this board, TM4C123GXL, you can open and see there are many examples related to uh, that specific board by the Texas Instruments. Let's open an example from the Chiva Viewer that we installed earlier. Open project and uh, that was installed on the C drive Chiva Viewer. Examples, boards, and the third one from the list. And uh, let's program it with Blinky. Since this project was made in MDK version 4 and we are using MDK version 5, so we have two options we can migrate to device pack or we can install legacy sport. So let's install the soft device packs by migrating to device packs. So key microvision has detected this device pack is missing for the family. So just hit install. So project has been migrated to the this device. Tiva C series launch pad comes with stylus ICDI which is in circuit debug interface that can be used for debugging and programming onboard C series microcontroller. In this section we will see how to download and install all those drivers for stylus ICDI. So let's start by searching those drivers on the internet. So search stylus ICDI driver and you will find a link from the Texas Instruments calling stylus ICDI driver. Click on this link. You will find a brief description of the stylus ICID drivers and you can download it from here. Just click on it. You can also find some documentation related to installing those drivers so you can download the driver installation guide since driver files has been downloaded so let's start installing those drivers in order to install driver you need to connect your TVC launchpad with your computer I have connected my TVC launchpad with my computer. So first of all, we need to go to device manager. In the device manager, you can see uh, my TVC launchpad has been detected as in circuit debug interface, but these triangles are showing like the each drivers are missing. So what we need to do is to just this driver file and uh, extract it. So these are the location of my drivers, just copying the location for you later use. So in the device manager, you can right click on it and update driver. So browse my computer and in this you can paste the link of those driver folder. Hit next and uh, click install. You can see its driver has been installed. Similarly, you can also do the same thing for this update driver browse my computer and uh, yeah it is the same location where the drivers are placed 
next and hit close so you can see my drivers has been successfully installed after installing the stateless icdi drivers we need to install stylus icdi add-on for microvision keel because in microvision keel version 5.29 and the later version they have removed the support for stylus icdi debugger adapter therefore we need to install an add-on so for that let's first download it you can type stylus icdi add-on so hit the first link so you can find this article men mentioning they have removed this sport for stylus icdi in order to get that you can download and install this icdi add-on just right click on it and this 3MB file will be downloaded. So the add-on has been downloaded. So go to the download folder and uh, install it. Agree the license and hit next. It has been successfully installed. Now we also have to update driver for this USB serial device COM3. Right click on it, update driver, browse my computer and uh, provide the location of the drivers. Hit next. And uh, you can see Stratus Virtual C report has been installed and uh, its name is also been updated in the ports. Once this Tyrus ICDI drivers and their add-on is installed, you need to restart your computer. After restarting, you can now open Microvision Keel and connect Tiva C Series Launchpad with your computer and uh, open an example project. So when the project is open, you can click on these options for target and uh, there are many tabs and in the debug tab you can see this stylus icdi is being updated if you don't see stylus icdi you can drag down and you can see it is on the last hit settings and you can see a serial number is assigned to your stylus usb icdi hit ok and ok and if you hit download you can see the device has been programmed and ready to use mm -hmm.